and welcome to day 51 of the Mindfulness Challenge. We're in the home straight past the halfway mark. Um, I hope you enjoyed yesterday and your celebrations. I did. Um, it was a really nice time and caught the sun a little bit, as you can see, which is nice. Today we're going to talk about um, carrying baggage of worries and regrets. And we've spoke about it a few times, but it's interesting that it's sometimes a difficult um, subject to talk about where we have the releasing of some of the um, issues and problems that we've had over the years. So, and and those things can bubble underneath and cause us a lot of anxiety. And what we want to be doing really is just taking a moment to drop in and and go through some of the experiences, the traumas, and the emotions that we've had in our lives, and see how we can, you know, meditation and mindfulness can really help you unlock that through visualization. And visualization is a really important tool um, that we've used for 51 days, and we're going to use it again today. So. I want to help you reduce some anxiety and I want you to reduce some of those things from dissecting and, and really carrying a lot of um, baggage from the past, worries and regrets and, and emotions, etc. So um, today we're going to get straight into the meditation. So I'm going to pop a picture up. And what I want you to do is, is I want to help you, as I said before, reduce some anxiety and start by taking a moment just to relax your body, as we've always done in these 51 days. But soften and just unnecessary tension in your belly and shoulders and and just find that posture that feels both relaxed but also alert you know we don't want to fall asleep we want to fall awake so with your eyes closed and rest your ha hands in in a, in a place where they're where they're easily effortless it's not you're not carrying them and and take a few moments just to scan your awareness through the sensations of your body and whenever possible soften and release those areas of physical tension and when you're aware of your body, you'd be aware of your body breathing, your chest rising and falling to each breath. And now imagine if you can, taking a deep breath in, holding it and just letting it go and standing in a street outside um, your house. And as you stood outside your house, I want you to imagine that you have two um, very heavy suitcases. And know that one of these suitcases is full of worries about the future. And the other suitcase is about, it's just absolutely full to the brim of regrets about the past. And take a moment standing in there in the street, holding these two heavy suitcases, and just reflect about each one. Reflect about the future, how it will come on its own accord, whenever it comes, and most of what we worry about will never happen. We are not our thoughts. Our thoughts are real, but they're not true. Now you're standing out in the street and reflect about the past, the, the other heavy suitcase. Consider how the past cannot be changed. All we can do in the present is to learn from it. And put in whatever corrections make sense. Become more skillful, become a better person and move on. Now standing there in the street, feeling the weight of these suitcases and absorbing the wisdom of your reflections right now, make a very conscious decision. Do you want to drop the suitcase of worry about the future? And if so, just simply drop it. Simply drop it. And then you're standing in the street with the other suitcase so heavy about the past and just make a conscious decision there. Do I want to drop it? And then just drop it. Just drop that suitcase. And as soon as you've dropped the two suitcases, walk into your home and take your seat where you are now and just sit because you're so relaxed. Like someone coming home from a long trip, dropping his suitcases and just relaxing, rested in the present, just breathing, resting in the natural well-being the parasympathetic nervous system, resting in the fundamental well-being of you, of awareness itself, awareness which does not worry or regret, resting as if this is the meaningful way to rest for you, and allow yourself to simply rest, feeling a sense of joy, a sense of peace, 
of well-being. A natural happiness, always your true home, without carrying these heavy suitcases of worries about the future and full of regrets about the past. And simply rest here in your body right now, with total relaxation throughout your body, your mind, and connecting in with your soul. And as you sit here, you may hear the birds in the trees or the people outside, but you know that you are comfortable with your own connection and yourself within, feeling the chambers of your heart fill with the special light of love that you now hold for yourself, loving kindness, compassion, empathy, trust, surrender, knowing that you are now moving forward without the extra baggage to allow you to be your best self, to allow you to and have and be with your soul's goals, knowing that over periods of time, the clarity and purpose of your life's path, your spiritual pathway will slowly unfold in front of you. But now you have the ability to bathe in that sea of uncertainty, knowing full well that you have this moment, you have your breath, you have the opportunity to drop into this beautiful space of peace, light and love anytime you want and breathe in, hold it and breathe out. This is complete spiritual serenity. You love it, you worship it and you thrive on it because now you have the ability to connect with your true inner self, to understand that the situation that happens around us is being amplified by our mind's narrative, our mind chatter. But now we are in this position of complete awareness where we can visualize the issues that we see and separate those emotions, those, those fears, those anxieties and breathe it out and let it go and hold ourselves in loving kindness, just like we did with the suitcase of the past and the suitcase of the future. Take a deep breath in, hold it for two seconds and just breathe out. And when you're ready, wiggle your fingers, open your eyes <coughs> and come back in the room. So <coughs> it's, a, it's a short meditation. It's, you know, I think we're about 10 minutes altogether, but it's a powerful one because, you know, what we realize is we all have choices. We think our choices are taken away from us and they, a lot of our choices are taken away from us by our emotions, our fears, our anxieties, our depression. But we, we, can, we can get that back. We can be in choice. We can be, you know, we can be whatever we want to be, the best self, by just, you know, being kind to ourselves, moving forward in a way that resonates with us, doing things in your life that you enjoy doing. These times now where we're sat thinking and pondering about the future, make the changes you want to make. So when you come out of this coronavirus, you can be in that position with your body, your mind and your soul to be able to deliver on what you love and where you want to go. Be your best self. You cannot be anybody else because they're taken. So take care of yourself, love yourself, treat yourself with the respect of the most respected person you have in your life. Give yourself the love you give to the most person you love in your life and be with yourself in a way today that's going to allow you to grow tomorrow. Day 51 of the Mindfulness Challenge. Good morning, Julian. I love you. Good morning, Julian. I love you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And uh, I shall see you all tomorrow. Be love and give love. Bye-bye.